Oh yeah. Hey up gang, how's it going? Right, we've got a uh, we've got an unboxing for you today. For some reason people like these, they're a bit pointless, but hey, it's one of those things. Now is probably the best time to tell you that I am actually now part of the Whiffler Pro Team. Whiffler Industries Pro Team. So thank you so much, Mr. Whiffler. Thank you so much for this. It's gotten to the UK from America in record um, and I've got the national tour on the weekend so maybe you might be able to set it up for before then so we'll see what happens. We're just going to open this up for you. Got to bear with me because I am actually cooking my tea if you can hear it. Got a nice steak going as well. Been chatting and absolutely lovely guy very very graciously has, has said yes to me joining the Whiffler team so you know it's it's a it's a big honor lots of awesome people are part of the Whiffler pro team and i'm very excited to see what 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 what, 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 what we've got here first of all we've got a jersey cool let's have a look at this and yeah, that feels good already wow nice check that out that's sweet, I like that. Awesome. Nice pattern on it, really nice material. Got a cool zip on here as well. So we'll try that on later and we'll see how that fits. And we've got a few different bits and pieces in here from what I uh, from what I gathered. Now the main the main product is the, the plungers, the plunger buttons, um, which look really cool and they don't use springs. I have massive problems with mine. Fivix, um, and I also have the biter uh, plunger upstairs and they're always Bear ball are already, already very noisy, as I'm sure you know. And for some reason with the bear ball, depending on where you set these plungers, they can be really noisy. The spring inside them can rattle quite a lot. This this one is really, really bad. I've had to use that for now because it's the only one that I've got for outdoor. So let's have a gander, what have we got in here? He's also sent us a few other little bits and bobs, so we'll have a look at these. So also set us some, some string armor, which is like a water and dirt repellent, kind of like wax. But if you're anything like me, you A, never wax your string, you never remember. Um, and also waxing your string, it makes it really gunky and horrible and feels a bit horrible. So um, hopefully this might be able to deter some of that crap. So hopefully put this on and then wax it and take the wax off or just use this altogether. So that is the string armor. We've also got the arrow armor. Here we go, which is which is like a kind of like, like a protector and a lubricant for your arrows. So you can pull them out a bit easier on the tips um if you're anything again anything like our club my local club we use straw bosses and they can be a bitch to pull the arrows out so that's awesome can't wait to try those out and then i think the main event is here where we have oh wow look at that now that is cool let's let's tuck in here let's tuck in so we've got what i assume to be what's well, a key ring made of carbon fiber but also I assume this is the tightener, you know what I mean? This is the wrench for tightening up your, your plunger. And look at that. That is fucking awesome. It's like bamboo. Yeah, it's like proper bamboo. Look at that. And we've got the MP1 bear bow. Nice. That's fucking sweet, man. I like that. Like I say, I do apologise for the noise, but I'm kind of rushing. So there we go. Look at that. It's like proper bamboo. It's like a proper... A little section of bamboo there, that's really really cool. So we've got the Wolf Whiffler Industries MP1. Let's have a look inside. Wow. I really like how that's actually bamboo. That's fucking awesome. Here we go. Oh. So I've got a black one. That already looks really cool. Oh my god, that's so smooth. <laughs> I actually had an idea a while ago. Or a plunger with magnets. I've got an obsession with magnets, right? And um, I had an upset. I had a, an idea for a plunger with magnets, and uh, got laughed at. Cheers, Lee. That's a really cool idea as well. Instead of having to use the Allen keys, you have the option to tighten it down with an Allen key, but you can loosen that off, tighten this around, and I assume there's a ball in there somewhere. Yep. Click, 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 click. And basically, this doesn't use springs. It uses magnets, like I said, and it feels so smooth. We have, and then we've got obviously your Allen keys and such, and I assume some little instructions. Come two Allen keys. Here we go. So we've got a nice little letter here. Tension adjustment. This is the bare bow. This is specifically for bare bow, apparently. This is the bare bow instructions. Oh, look at that! It's got a little ball in the end there. 
I assume. Yeah. So that's what goes into here. Uh, in the sense of the hole, this enables the clicks for easier, more consistent tuning with 20 clicks per rotation. After you've designed, after your desired tune, you have the option to replace the thumb screw with a set screw. It's more streamlined look, so you can take this away basically once you've done with it. Uh, nickel Teflon coated, which is really cool, not gonna lie. And any issues, reach out to Alex. So there we go. I shall do an install video and a setup video once I've got the National Tour out of the way, because I don't really want to change anything at the minute. Click, 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 click. And then what you can do is you can remove that once you've found your, found your spot. You can add your grub screw into there and twist it in. Grub screw is here. Ooh. Well, let's just have a look inside here, because I'm kind of intrigued. Watch me break it. So look, you've got two opposing magnets. Not sure what type of magnets they are, the neodymium or what. But, ooh. Oh, oh magic. Oh, are you pleased to see me or what? Oh, ho. So this is another plin plunger tip. So if we have a look in here, there we go. So that's an extended length plunger tip that they give you. And this will be the nickel coated, uh, Teflon coated nickel, whatever it was. Um, so if you're having, you're having trouble getting the center shot over, you've got two different lengths there. You just change over the magnet. I would actually mark the top of that so I know which, which way around it is just for ease of use. You whack this back into here and then Oh, magnets, magnets. Okay, and then you just wind that back in. And there we go. And then you can have your, your adjuster up here. Click, 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 click. That's a really good design. I really, really like that, actually. That will look very, very nice on the side of my g -Lo. So this red's kind of out of place. That's going to look 10 times better. Oh, I'm really excited to give this a go. I really am. Right, well, this is going to be everything really, guys, but I'll let you know how these things pan out. And obviously there's the there's the wrench to, uh, like that, carbon fiber, nice and light. I'll add that to my, uh, to my quiver, actually. So that's it, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Here we have with the products. Thank you so much, Alex. You're an absolute legend, my friend. I really like the presentation. Like, that's just really cool. We'll try all this out. We'll do a review. We'll do a setup of this guy and how it compares to like a Shibuya or a Fivix or a Biter, which is what I'm used to. And yeah, so that's me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon, I'm sure. And until the next time, broke shift out. And wish me luck at the Nationals. Cheers, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.